Missy? Missy? What? What? I heard you the first time. You seen Commander Kelly? I see her every day. All day. And you, and Alex, and Rapper. Look, if and you see her in the next 10 minutes, could you tell her we well, need her inside? Well, I might do that. I'll just... Sorry, Commander. I'm just tired of camping out. We all are, Missy. So what's the deal with you? You're always under control, Miss. I can do anything. Think so, Missy? Sure seems that way. Unless it's a big put on. No, it's not a big put on. But sometimes I have to work real hard at making my faith talk instead of throwing a fit or screaming at someone. Oh yeah, you don't have to worry about what you look like or what you wear, because that's not even important to you. I've been in the same outfit for six months, Valerie, and I am tired of it. Missy? You don't think I care. You don't think I want to be beautiful like you. You don't think it's important to me to have people like me. That's, that's not what I meant, Valerie. What's inside of me is a lot more important than what I look like or if I'm popular. But people do like you, Valerie, and I care about what's on the inside of me, too. Then quit complaining and act like it. Valerie, wait! I'll go off and be hurt. See if I care! Just scoot it back a little bit. Right there. Yeah. We're still not ready. Rapper's with the wire antenna coils that we hung up in the trees. Yeah, he's quite a tree climber, right? Hey, somebody had to enjoy stringing 2,000 feet of wire together. 2,117 feet and 7 inches, to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe we got all that wire out of the Exodus. Well, I can't believe that we got them all spliced together. Well, I believe in Jesus' name that your homemade radio transmitter will hit the exact frequency. Yeah, and that Commander Dana's still listening, right. It's about time, Rapper. Oh. Does it work? Well, now that you're here, we can find out. I think so. Here we go. What? We're never gonna get off this mountain. It should have worked. Yeah, it should have worked, and we should have got off when we had a chance. I'd rather die than just sit up here in the cold with all of you. Paul! You figure it out. Paul. What? Did it work? No, it didn't work. What? It didn't work, Missy. I was just asking, okay? It didn't work. It's all right, Good try, Alex. Well, maybe you shouldn't have asked. I was curious about what they were doing in there, all right? You were out of line. I you think? Yeah, you were. You, you had no right to, to talk to her. Come out of here in my face. Tell them I'm out of line. Yeah. Oh, you're you're the the man man you do not get in my face, rapper. Oh, I am. You're the one that's not yelling at me like that. Who are you? Don't push me. You're the only one. Well, obviously not. We're still stuck on this mountain, aren't we? Oh, it's my fault. All of Yeah, actually, it takes a team. It takes all of us. Oh, okay. I don't have faith, huh? No, you. You think I haven't noticed that I've been with all of them for six months? You think I don't care? I care and I want to get off, but it's not happening. Yo, I'm really sick of it. You know what? I'm really sick of your attitude. I'm sick of your attitude. Now get out of my face, darling. Right now, I'm starting Look, I think I found something. I think this is going to help. I have some idea. I think we might be able to. Right. Let's go do that right now because, you know, I'm really ready to get my hopes up again. So now you're going to blame it on Alex. Well, it's someone's fault, right? Yes. Your attitude. Everyone's. I'm sick and tired of this! Stop it! I can't take this anymore! I've spent my life teaching you faith and how to get out of situations like this. Let the enemy get just a little too close and you fold! Well, I taught you better than that. Straight! Envy, division, silenced your faith. 
and it's reduced us to nothing. Nothing without the power of God. You've cast aside everything I ever taught you. You've dishonored Jesus and you've dishonored his blood. And I won't. What are we doing? <laughs> Rapper, look. I'm sorry, man. said best serve you well major i am your humble servant general grateful to be promoted from my last assignment if you succeed for me this time dread you'll be rewarded well if you fail your next assignment will be your last Obviously, you need my expertise to deal with some Commander Kelly problem. But I thought... But Commander of course! Commander Kelly was destroyed, wasn't she? I'm surrounded by incompetence, Major. Commander Kelly is alive. You're positive? A hero risen from the grave. Then we must stop them now or else that god of theirs only knows how powerful they will become. Surprisingly, Major. You're correct. Dread. And I do not care. Major Dread, meet Lawmaster Bellion. Enemies number one enforcer and prosecutor of villainous scum and religious reprobates. Your fame precedes you. I am honored. As does your fame, Major. If I recall your history, you allowed your own agent to lose a super kid's translator. You blew that glob lobber thing and single-handedly allowed the enemy spy and the sword machine to be destroyed. I was hardly responsible. You must have enough! Both of your skills are needed if enemy is to succeed. You are to find and bring me Commander Kelly. I want her unharmed. This time we will destroy the people's faith in her and her manual. I will bring Commander Kelly before you, General. And when we find her, General? Then it will be Commander Kelly who will finally see her day of judgment. A trial? What about the people? I will persuade the people. We risk much. Only if you fail. That's all. Don't get in my way, Major. Do what I say and do it well, or you will pay. There certainly are a lot of threats being thrown around. None as threatening as yours, sir. How about this one, Lawmaster? I have spent my time on that galactic garbage dump. And not you or anyone else will cause me to go back. Such a nasty business we're in. It seems unfair I'm so good at it. <laughs> and this Beliar is mean, contemptible, ruthless, jealous. My kind of people. <laughs> Oh, 
You don't come out here yelling at me too. I'm not in your face. You are in my face. Back up. You do not yell. Major Dredd, you're back. I mean, you're back. That's great. Good to see you. How's the garbage business? The garbage business is history. Oh, but now I'm ready to get back in business with you, my friend. Oh, Major Dredd, I'm getting too old for this secret agent stuff. You're a kid. You know how it is. You were a kid once. No. I don't think I ever was. I can check on that for you, sir. But this isn't the business for me anymore. I really want to quit. Well, isn't that sweet? Wait a minute. Didn't you become one of those believers? That? That was a cover. Yeah. Yeah, I acted like one. It's something us secret agents do all the time. The only way you quit spying, boy, is to quit breathing. <laughs> Commander Kelly will come out of hiding and try to make contact. I want to know where and when. <laughs> <laughs>